Uh, Producer Patches, may we begin? You may begin. Oh, okay. Pow, 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 ping, ping, ping. Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. Sorry, Kitty. Hey, what's up? I'm not stressed at all. (laughs) (laughs) And boo, choo, 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 Shelly. Hey, I don't even have a fun fact. I don't think I'm doing enough fun stuff to have a fun fact. (laughs) I mean, it could be anything from your life at any time. I don't know. Do you do you bite your toenails? No, uh, it, but there's okay. been a lot of Animal Crossing happening in my house. Uh, yeah. Oh, I so heard. That's my my kids will play Animal Crossing together, and then I have the little pocket version on my iPad pad that I play while they're. Ooh, choo, choo, choo. That is too long of a fun fact. Ooh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> ching ching ching. Producer Jonna. Uh, producer Jonna is currently eating chips and salsa. No, jealous. And ching, 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 poo, poo, pow. Patches, producer patches. I used to snort pixie sticks as a kid. Up your nose? Yeah. So in high school who did that? <laughs> no. I Is there an- I swear okay. to you, I did. I feel like that answers so many questions. <laughs> that it really does. Sure does. That in the sure does. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, my name is KJ, and this is the kind watch of nerdy. Out, watch out, watch out. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> oh, Patches, watch for Katie. She's trying to get in. I just right. forwarded her the email. Okay, thank you. It, it, please, will you please text Katie and say it was Patches' fault and that I wanted her to be here all along? <laughs> thank you. If you are, uh, if if you're watching or tuning in for the first time, uh, we talk a lot of uh, pop culture and gaming, and we talk a lot of you know just the the mishaps. We talk a lot of shit. We talk a lot of a lot of the mishaps and uh, how we're not a a, a great polished, uh, well oiled machine here. Although someday, someday. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Someday. We're so close. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, there she is, Katie. Welcome, poop, poop, choo, pow, pow, ching, ching, woo, wee, oo, wee, oo, wee, oo. Katie's here, Katie's here, Katie's here. Please welcome Katie to the show. Her intro was way Hello. better than everyone else's. Please don't ever make it. Thank you. Which face? Yes. Katie's here, Katie's here. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's here. <laughs> Can someone turn that into a GIF? <laughs> Katie, have you come prepared with a gaming update? Uh, yep, sure have. Yep, uh, yep. Pass. Okay. okay sure. uh, <laughs> As she furiously Googles. <laughs> uh, so did, did everybody come prepared with their homework assignments? Katie, uh, Katie, you're going to do some gaming stuff. And some, we can we do, well, yeah, Katie, you're always supposed to be prepared to talk gaming when you come. You're our gamer. Half the time when you miss us, okay. it's because you're playing games and too busy to talk to us. Or sleep. Yes, yes. But yes, go on. <laughs> uh, she hard for the money. So hard for the money. I will say Katie is working hard right now because she's, uh, she's working in TV. So that's not a fun job to have right now, keeping us informed and, and also keeping us not too depressed. Uh, and uh, Kitsy is our paranormal investigator. So hopefully uh, you are prepared with yep. some, some spooky notes shit. from my memory because I'll forget. Awesome. Uh, Shelly uh, has got uh, 1,002,083 board games in her house. <laughs> And so we will we will hear from Shelly on how must be built out of board games on how to not be bored. <laughs> and uh, Jada uh, loves to uh, indulge herself in shows that make her sob. So mm-hmm. uh, a, a round of what's got Jada weeping is is coming up. In- <laughs> Very excited for it. Yes. Uh, but first, I wanted to uh, you know, just maybe get something useful out there for people who are listening. Uh, if none of that seemed like you want to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> they did uh, announce, DC announced that they are um, moving some movies around now. So you've got Wonder Woman, August 14th of this year, fingers crossed. Yep. And then nothing for a full year mm-hmm. until... Suicide Squad uh, in, in August of 2021. 
October, uh, the Batman will follow. They're still planning on the Flash movie, even though uh, Ezra has been uh, a little weird lately. Hmm. Just leave it at that. Uh, they moved. They moved up the release date for the for the Flash movie from July to June. Of and twenty-two. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. And we got and, an email from Warner Brothers. Oh, you did. Oh, that's right, Shelly. You've got the the inside track because you do all the Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, what I'm most worried about with this is that they've moved Shazam back again. Yeah. And so you're talking about November of 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 twenty twenty two. I mean, mm-hmm. little Billy Batson is going to be. He wasn't that little to begin with. It, it, I mean, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, there's no, and they, they can't film right now. So no. I, I, I'm curious to see how they're shifting that. Um, and how it, it, I wait a very long time to see Zachary Levi really buff. I'm not here. Shazam. Shazam. He's oh, the, the one I didn't see. It okay. was the Prince Entangled. Oh. You didn't see Shazam? Nope. Not at all. She didn't go with us. Remember, she doesn't see movies with us. Now nobody gets to see movies. Right. That's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, that's the best true. in a drive-in theater, girls. I, uh, that's what, Let's do it. They, I'm here for it. There was, I tell you, I sent a tweet last week and was like, hey, when do we get the drive-in theaters back? And then someone in the Kind of Nerdy Network, I wish I could, I think it, uh, I think it was Beth in the Kind of Nerdy Network, sent me a link that said that the, like, the the locations where that have been shut down that were drive throughs or drive throughs that were drive uh, drive in movies that they're like a lot of a lot of them are getting revamped and and people are investing them and in, in getting ready to open them back up again because why not I mean yeah. when are we gonna want to go to a movie theater again That's the best way to uh, social as soon distance. As this is over. You want to, if they said right now, Katie, you can leave your house and go sit in a movie theater that's packed with people you don't know, would you go? Yes, because I am spoiled and I love Flick's Brew House and I want to go do something other than be in my house, even if that's watch a movie. But I mean, honestly, how many people are actually going to like leave their house? Oh, Katie. And go to- yeah. One. I mean, like a lot, but like legitimately, like how many? Because- I mean, there's a bunch of like <clears throat> not very smart people who are protesting who are probably going to get the the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff. Yeah. The stuff. The, stuff. the, the virus stuff. that shall not be named. Bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think that people who aren't those people are probably smart enough to know that maybe we shouldn't go to the movie theater just mm. yet. Katie, I think she's calling you not smart. I, I want to go. I'm not going to. Um but you just I never coming back now. Yeah. Katie, I'm going to hang up. Katie, now. I um, I just asked you if you if they said right now that you could go. You said yes. yes because I'm not not following the rules, you know what I mean? Like if they said, "Hey, it's free and clear and you can go," then now you can go. Not yeah, like but I'm when they tell us out now. Well, when they tell us we can go, which like I mean they're setting up some guidelines, it, I, I, would you I mean would you feel I would not feel safe. It's going to take a while. Like, you, I'm going to need some therapy, and you're going to have to come drag me out of the house. As long as right? you're following if, guidelines, if, if, you if should be decision. fine. Yes, I don't want to leave until I'm vaccinated. <laughs> so you're probably looking at another 12 to 18 months, yeah. <laughs> well, but if you look at it, and the, the guidelines that they put out, the, you know, phase one and phase two and phase three, with my asthma, I'm not even allowed to leave my house until phase three. Yeah, when they let the old people out of the homes. Yeah. <laughs> when they let the old people out of the homes. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know she did not. <laughs> you, you should know that we do like each other. Mm. <laughs> this is all in fun. Well, <laughs> I was late. I had to that catch up. Rude, Katie. Yeah. That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Usually you and Kitsy are like all like this and like we got each other and Kate and you should know that Kitsy's older than me. So when you make old people oh, jokes. My first thought, mm. not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> But I still love you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, uh, choo choo poo 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 cow cow choo choo. Did I say cow? Poo choo choo. I did. <laughs> it's time for what's got Jonna weeping. My new segment where we talk about how I cry a lot. Yeah, we had uh, previously known as Johnny Sap. Johnny's. I can't talk. Johnny Sap. He show up. <laughs> she said not me mild in her special way great song from short circuit um jana don't worry about it you're too young to remember <laughs> i was gonna say and you wonder why she called us old sorry i was born late hey i'm not too ashamed to say i was old enough to love short circuit and johnny five all right and jana put it on your list of things what to watch short circuit it's a, it, it's, it's an, a, I've heard Johnny Five, but like I've heard that name before. Yes, there was, Johnny Five is alive. There was a, a hit record by El Devage, El Devage, El Devage. God, El I swear this is, lemonade. are you okay? This is lemonade and I'm not having a stroke that I'm aware of. You sure. That I'm aware of. <laughs> All right, I know I know that Jana has a lot on her mind, which is why I wanted to get get started because she has been blowing up my texts with all kinds of Buffy stuff and 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 Zoe's extraordinary playlist. I don't know. Did you watch it? I did watch it. I watched it last night. It was right. terrible. It was great. It was great, but it was terrible. So please, do you want to start there? That was like the heaviest cry. So I want to lead up mm-hmm. to it. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So go ahead, Jonna. Okay. Well, okay. Don't judge me. But one of my Netflix recommendations right now is the show called Too Hot to Handle. Okay. We're not judging. I felt the judgment as soon as I said yep. the title. But it's so good. It's not It's not what you think it is. Like, the premise of the show is to get all of these people who um, basically, like, have a lot of feelings but they don't deal with those feelings in the correct way, as in they just um, have rela- relations with uh, people, like lots of people. Are we allowed to say, are we allowed to say the word? Yes. I don't know. Singing? Yes. They have sex with a lot of people to deal with their problems, <laughs> is what it is. Okay. And so they go on this retreat for a month, and they have to abstain from anything sexual for a whole month. They have a $100,000 pot right and if they kiss if they have sex if they do like anything that's like super sexual they get money deducted from the hundred thousand dollar pot so like at one point they had like fifty five like thousand dollars i was like god you're stressing (laughs) me out right now (laughs) but the show the premise of the show is to get them to deal with their emotions in like a healthier way than to just go around being hoes. How does the show about not having sex get you to cry? Because it's a lot of emotional, like dealing with your problems, but they have to like learn to deal with their emotions in a healthy way, which I mean, from personal experience, it's very hard to do that. You just bottle <laughs> that shit up, you push it down deep into yeah, your soul. Yeah, make an ulcer. Yeah. <laughs> make I don't an ulcer. ulcer. <laughs> so do they all have their own pot? No, it's one big pot. Flower. Oh, so when you screw up, you ruin it for everyone. So that, like everyone's like, d- did everyone like owe the show money by the time it was done then? I mean, they all left with $7,500, so. For all that? Yeah, but like. But they got to be on a tropical island for a month. They got to be on a tropical island. All they had to do was not have sex for a month and they got $7,500. There's so yeah. many ways around that. And all I, I got was this t-shirt. <laughs> 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 where are you um, where are you at with Buffy? They just found out that it wasn't Oz who was murdering people. Oh yes. Also Xander and Willow kissed, <laughs> and I was like, yo, oh my God. Like I felt it. I like I was sitting there watching it and I was just like, okay, I know this is gonna happen. Like it has to happen, like right now at this moment in time. And then it happened and I was I literally lost I had to pause it and text KJ yep. because I was so shook. Yep. I was like, bruh, what the you have <laughs> such a journey. You have such a journey ahead of you, Jonna. All right, Zoe's extraordinary playlist. You have to deal with your feelings. No, I don't want to. Do you to. know what is so cute about this show is that um, Jane, the the star, Jane Levy, if, she is so in love with the show. Like her tweets are like texts that I get from you. <laughs> It's like, she's like, why can't Zoe and Simon just get it on? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> literally. Like, I'm so tired of waiting for them to be a thing. Like, I know he and his girl just broke up, but I mean, damn. Come on, guys. Mm. Shelly, are you caught up on the show? No. No. God. I'm not even going to ask Katie. She's over there no, being No, I bored. caught up. No, I'm lying. No, you didn't. <laughs> What I was thinking today, uh, Jonna, and, and this came up because I started watching Lock and Key, Shelly. Oh, uh, so good. It's, yes. Kit, oh, that's right. Kitsy liked it. Shelly wasn't impressed. Uh, so I'm going into it open-minded. However, I was like, do I? And this is, I mean, not really spoiling anything because you find out about it right away. But like, do we need more shows with dead dads? I was Disney has that down. the dead mom thing, yeah. Oh my god, but it's like dads right now. Zoe's extraordinary playlist has a you know, a dad, uh, it's my dad, dad. yeah, yeah, Bob and, and word, the dad is dead, yeah. And my niece had me uh, about to watch that the other night, and I was like, I'm not fucking watching this. Which like, one? They, they wanted me to watch Onward, oh, yeah, you yeah. and I was like, mm. Yeah. I need to shuffle back some tears and, you know, shove them deep down like I do, but you'd be bawling. <laughs> oh, every uh, Disney, every freaking Pixar movie does that to me. I don't know if it's their algorithm. I feel like they're really picking on the dads lately. I mean, you got uh, Jack, you know, Jack from This Is Us is gone. Isn't it a dude in, uh, in a million little things? Got a, uh, a, a council of dads, which is a whole thing about dads being dead. I'm like, I saw a preview for that the other day when I was watching Buffy, and I was like, ah, look at that show. I'm not gonna watch. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what I said. And then I'm literally five minutes into Lock and Key, and I'm like, well, Johnny can't watch this. Another dead dad. <laughs> I can handle some like dead dad stuff, okay? Ooh, I, honestly, -ish. I can't see the dads die. That's my thing. Like if he's already dead when the show watch. starts, don't, don't watch it. But, don't watch it. Like, no. Watching Zoe's playlist right now really is like ruining my life. Aww. Like that ending scene of the newest episode, I was sitting there on my couch just like bawling my yeah. eyes out. I was like, am I okay? Probably not, but damn, like it was so sad. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, it was so it was so happy but so sad at the same time. Ah, uh, all right, Katie. Hello. I need you to pay attention. She, you're the, you got the spotlight. Choo, pow, pow, king. Oh, it's time for Katie's gaming update. Okay. Choo. So it's not necessarily a game I'm I'm playing, but it's something that's okay. relevant. Um so Sony company that makes the PlayStation, uh, specifically mm -hmm. the PlayStation 4, they have this thing called the Play at Home Initiative right now, which is encouraging people to stay home and play video games instead of going out and getting into trouble. Um, and because of the Play at Home Initiative, they're actually offering two free games to PlayStation 4 players. You just download them, they're free, and they're yours to keep forever. Wow. Yeah. Are they good games? So it is Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. So that's actually three games by itself. Um, which is like this treasure hunter, you know, kind of thing. It's pretty cool. And then uh, Journey, which is this like little desert magical adventure kind of thing. It's a little more fantasy, but they're both really good games. Oh, nice. And you can just get them for free? Yeah, if you have a PlayStation 4, um, you can get them until May 5th. Well, I have a PlayStation 2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I don't think their support still games. helps PlayStation 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Katie, uh, have you made it, it, it anymore into Animal Crossing? Yes. You, uh, so I have um, taken on the adventure of buying and selling turnips like stocks. So. Ooh. <laughs> I heard that's the thing. Yes. So it's turnips are the thing? Island. It's the way oh, to make your, your money in this game. Um, and I'm not playing just to enjoy myself. I'm playing to win. So my island has to make money for me. I would yeah, expect nothing so on like Sundays, that's why I don't you can buy games. turnips. Um, and then you just buy them from this, the, you know, this random character or whatever. And then during the week, every morning and afternoon, the local store changes the turnip prices. So you're trying to guess like stocks, when to sell your turnips when they're the highest so you can make your money. So, so is this like legit like actually on Sunday? Yeah. Like this Sunday you'll be you'll be buying your turnips. Yes, the game is in real time. So when you play okay. at six in the morning, it's six in the morning. Oh wow. So and it's like the store closes at ten. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can't wow. really get anything yep. done if you play overnight. So you have to kind of play during the day. So occasionally when yep. you shake a tree, a wasp's nest will fall out and then the wasps will attack you. <laughs> and you get your eyes closed. Yeah, you get like your eye swells and you can only get hit <laughs> twice before you pass out. Yeah. So you're yeah. making like that movie hit. A little. Yeah, um, so you, you can make yourself medicine, <laughs> which the sick irony is medicine is made with the wasp's nest that you got stung with. <laughs> Oh, see, I mean, I don't, I, I think I could deal with the wasps, but I'm not the tarantulas. Yeah, like, it's cartoon yeah. tarantulas. I don't, yeah. I don't care. Like, even like Harry Potter, when the, the spiders come around, I can't. If there's a spider on screen of any kind, I'm like, done with this. Like, be gone. Aren't they technically acromantulas? Yes. Yeah. I'm not tarantulas. I said spiders. Not spiders. Go back and listen to the tape. Spiders I said the spiders. Arachnids. You listen to the tape. You listen to the tape. I said spiders. Okay, tape. Back to the old thing. <laughs> yep, you got it. You got it. Tape. You know, tape. you know, I can, I can edit on tape better than I can edit digital. Do you oh, still man. own a reel to reel? Uh, I don't. But if I did, that's what we'd be recording the show on, because I would be able to edit it so much better. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense to me. Oh my gosh, I wish that there was video of when I worked in, now keep in mind, I worked in radio when I was a child. I started very Seven years old. Very young. Um, I did. I, I, I started in high school. I hadn't been so. yet. <laughs> I was learning digital stuff in, 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 like at my school radio station, but the radio station I worked for couldn't afford the digital stuff. So I like was. Like Commodore 64? Yes, like I was using like carts, like, you know, like the eight track tapes, like that was what our music was on. And I, you know, like it out, I need an hour of music. So I'd pull all of these carts and I'd have a stack of what looked, they were four tracks. They they each had, they're like the size tracks. of a slice of bread and they have like one yep. song on them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Katie, yep. we still had them at the, the radio yep. station when you were there. Uh, but anyway, I could get, I could you mark a little spot on the tape and then you, you find the spot, mark that little spot. Yes. Yeah. And you mark the little, well, you had the little white chalk that you marked where you wanted to edit and then you, and then you, and then you, and then you tape it together and I could do all of that. I could take like a 10 minute phone call and edit that thing down over a three minute song and have it on the air. I just love your sound effects as of right now. <laughs> well, that was what it would sound like because you were rewinding. I know, but the fact that you're doing the sound effects, also doing the hand motion. I'm glad that we're doing this now where we're zooming so people can see when you're doing this thing. <laughs> it's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Katie, do you have anything else in the in the gaming world? I appreciate you uh, updating us on that Sony yeah. thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know. Like, the Play at Home initiative is pretty cool and all that kind of stuff. And, I mean... We, you didn't need a study for me to tell you that uh, people are buying a lot of games because they're staying home. <laughs> they are making so much money right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, but production is down. So, like, games are getting delayed and things like that because people aren't working on them because they're at home. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Choo 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 choo! Pow pow! Wee you! Wee you! It's time for Kitsy's kind of scary update. Woo! Actually, last night, I just did an interview with Steve Gonzalves, from, formerly from Ghost Hunters, and um, now he's on a new show on Travel Channel that starts this coming Wednesday. I'm not sure when this podcast is going to be posted, but it'll be Wednesday, the 22nd of April at 8 Central, and they're starting off with a two-hour episode. I guess they had so many things happen the police were called in everything. They went to the network and they're like, no, we can't fit this into your hour time slot. We need an extra hour. And Travel Channel was like, yes. When do you call the police on a ghost? Hello, police? There's a ghost. <laughs> What's he look like? I don't know. Actually, there's a whole show based around police calls about paranormal activity on the Travel Channel. I'm not really? sucking up to the network. I love the Travel Channel. <laughs> I'll suck up to the network. When are they just going to um, give in and like change their name to the, uh, the ghost Travel to See Scary Ghost Channel? Like, they have, they I think it's like, still, don't they? Do I they? I think like early, early morning, they might have like replays of food shows. Hmm. But it's pretty much paranormal 24-7. And Steve was also telling me 
that the the head that big wigs at travel travel channel are paranormal fans ah. so, they so excited about yeah yeah so i don't know if they weren't before or if people change positions or things like that also steve is about to release and you can pre-order on itunes it's a paranormal documentary that i had sneak access to from my home god loves steve Gonzalez. oh you got a screener Ooh. i did yeah. on video. <laughs> <laughs> um and it's called the house in between it's amazing it's what every paranormal investigation should be but these people have been investigating this place for 10 years Oh my so gosh. They, yes. And they kind of feel that the investigators feel that they've trained the spirits there how to communicate. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give away too much, but it's so good. Oh and my the gosh. Lady, that's cool. The lady whose house it is, is so adorable. And she has this little Mississippi Southern drawl. And I just want her to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> Well, and I was also thinking, Kitsy, and uh, coming up with ideas that the Travel Channel might like, could we find a way to combine the food shows and the paranormal? Like, there's got to be a, a, a ghost chef out there somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, but like, I, I like the idea of like getting recipes from beyond. And, you know, and then like, if you're doing it wrong, you're like, you're, yeah, you, you're, you're, you've been stirring it too long. You're like, shit, okay. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, but be careful. Cause then you're going to get some like pilgrim grandma. That's like, you don't use that. <laughs> or you're going to end up with typhoid Mary. Yeah. So there you Put go. Blood in it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think when you are out investigating kitsy that you, you should probably you know just like ask these ghosts if they ever you know like they got a knack for cooking you know we're, we're looking for a ghost we're looking for a I, ghost I thought that to be part of my questioning do you like to cook do you have a favorite recipe <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me my grandmother's meatball mess re a recipe please <laughs> I tell you what, Kitsy, um, one of the first guests you would have would be my mother coming through going, tell KJ that she sucks at baking and she's really failed me with my bread <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure that's the I'm message not. she would want to relay to you. You got it. Oh, that's what my grandmother would tell me, a hundred oh, yeah. million percent. <laughs> yeah. I did uh, do an interview that hasn't been released yet for one of the Odysseys for my Oddity Files podcast with a... Uh, I think I told you about it. A male witch um, out in Oregon. A Mitch. Yes. <laughs> he he did the uh, reading on my house from the photo of my house. And there are two spirits here that I didn't know about. Wait, besides the two that follow you? Yeah, you have four. Start Apparently charging rent. So. Too many. Too many. Well, I can't come to your house now. Have you told your husband? No, don't tell him. <laughs> I'm going to friend him on Facebook and then message nope. him. <laughs> So Kitsy does all of this paranormal stuff and her husband hates like that he does not want to think about this stuff right he doesn't, no. No, unless yeah. you know something happens that he sees and he's like get the sage immediately <laughs> and everyone's because I I do the essential oils I do stuff like that and mm -hmm. every time he calls me a witch and it just makes me so happy <laughs> <laughs> because he means it in the best way I think oh. I, yeah, I'm sure every uh, every <laughs> husband that calls his wife a witch means it in the best way. <laughs> Is that do word. your witchy thing. Yes. Next up, Shelly from Conquest Journal. You're going to be on the show. You Have you guys already recorded it? Yep. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Shelly, do you have spooky stuff to, to talk about? No. no. Well, you just like to talk about spooky stuff? You wait a second. You've never had anything weird like oh, that yeah. might be. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think it's spooky. I think it's good. No, it's no, we not. Save it for kitsies. We got okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I just met. I was worried about the episode if you like went on and had absolutely nothing to share. She's a ghost <laughs> enthusiast, not a ghost experiencer. <laughs> so no, it's a good story. It's a good story. It was it's great. One my, it was... It's one of my favorite, my favorite things that has happened. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. And those are my favorite ghost stories. Ooh, you you made it into Kitsy's favorite ghost stories. Wow. Oh, did I tell you Ann Wheaton was on this week? Oh as my well? gosh, can we talk about this? You were you had Ann Wheaton on your show. Like Ann Wheaton, Does everybody know who Ann Wheaton is? Yes. Nope. 
Will Wheaton's wife. Will Wheaton. Will. Is that Wheaton's her claim to fame? Is wife. being married to Will Wheaton? She wrote a children's book, and she's actually a, a pet advocate on yes. all the social medias, and she's actually a lovely human being. Yes, she is. And you had her on the show, and you just like post that episode, like blah blah blah, and you don't notify me ahead of time. I totally forgot to tell you guys last time we recorded. <laughs> And they're like building up now. So I'm just going in order, except for Steve's, because I had to get it up before the, the Ghost Nation episode. But yeah, I, I saw Will at GalaxyCon and I'm like, dude, you got a ghost story? He's like, you should talk to Anne. So I contacted her and we set it up. She, she's just lovely. And she had a happy ghost story, Shelly, as well. So I think you might like that episode. Yay! All right. Well, Shelly, I know you don't have anything spooky, but do you have... Ooh, choo, pow, pow, pow. Hang on, I got to take a drink. <laughs> I know, I don't know. <laughs> Me too. It's time for Don't Be Bored Games with Shelly. Did you say Dumpy? But a bunch. I what said, did you say? Don't be don't bored. I thought you said dumpy. <laughs> you said dumpy, dumpy, board, dumpy board games with Shelly. <laughs> what was about to say? Wow. I, I was like, is she playing Donkey Kong? Oh, God. What happened? Well, first, I'd like to kick off with a little convention news before we get yes, into the please. Games. Um, San Diego Comic Con was canceled <laughs> until next year. Yep. I don't know if you guys, and Anime Expo was also canceled. Oh, was it? I yep. heard about San Diego. So the <laughs> July show won't be working. Are falling. Um, particularly, I think that they made all the announcements after the California governor, you know, because they're all California shows. Um, California governor said, you know, he doesn't see things happening for the foreseeable future. Um, group gatherings in California, even if restrictions are lifted. So, um, you know, and I think a lot of people in the, in the, you know, community were waiting for San Diego to make that call and they finally did. And then all the other ones are starting to fall now with Anime Expo and everything. Oh, it's so sad. It is I sad. mean, like we, you know, like you get it, right? right. But, but it's right. like uh, the first time in 50 years that there's yeah. not going to be a San Diego Comic Con. So, Wait, bring us down, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, um, it's okay. And also, um, speaking of games, a lot of people are trying to buy board games right now, mm -hmm. and they're having a hard time finding them. And yeah, I can't find a puzzle to save my life. Uh, I know, I know. Um, there was a big article about Ravensburger Games and Puzzles and how they have tried to amp up production, but you know, some of the productions in China, and so that was obviously inhibited. And then um, the a lot of the distributor factories from the big game companies like Asmodi and um, and like the game Magic the Gathering, they're all they're all delaying their new releases. Mm -hmm. and they're just trying to keep up with getting things out. So they're like saying, "Hey, no new releases until May, maybe June." We're just trying to get out what we already make to everybody. From a personal standpoint, my family and I have been playing Oregon Trail, and it and, and it's a card. It's a card version of the old video game. I it love this. Super hard. And we have played it probably 20 times. Never made it from wherever we started to Oregon with this stack of cards you're supposed to do. Oh, wow. <clears throat> On Thursday last week, I was the sole survivor out of the party. You didn't get dysentery? Did you make it to I California? I didn't get dysentery. Oh my gosh, what my a kids, moment. We were screaming, we were like, oh my God. <laughs> and what's really funny is then two days later, my daughter and I went for a walk around the neighborhood and the the pin, the little like dry erase pin that comes with the Oregon, Oregon Trail game, on the other side of the neighborhood, there was one that was like thrown out on the sidewalk. And I said, <laughs> somebody's playing this game and got so frustrated that they threw the pin out the door and here it is. It was so <laughs> weird. I was like, this is ironic. Why is there an Oregon trail pin out here across the neighborhood? So yeah. I wish, there was, I wish there was a way that we could play that together virtually. I know that'd be super fun. Uh, but we'd all need our own. Mm -hmm. Would we all need our own cards, yeah. right? We'd all need your own cards and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's play Monopoly. Mm, no, no. I hate I, does anyone here like Monopoly? That's why I picked it. Even Shelly, Shelly has like every board game ever, and she's like, Ugh, Monopoly. That's why I picked I'm that not. game. You know what? It's fun uh, because it's completely not Monopoly at all. It just says it is. Is the Avengers one? The, 
Have you ever played the Avengers Monopoly? No. It, I didn't know such a thing existed. Hmm. It, okay. It's super fun and it doesn't take very long. Like it's a fast moving version. It's the Monopoly that you wish would just be Monopoly. That you wish would exist? <laughs> yes. yes. I know what we can all play virtually. I have seven Ouija boards right behind me up here on the shelf. <laughs> no? Hard pass. Okay. I'd rather put it in. No? Okay. Sorry. I just a thought. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. I... I've never thought about doing this virtually. So my, you my, get virtual it, ghosts. The, there's the thing, like if we're going to do it, they all end up in Kitsy's house because that's where the board is, right? It's no so, consequence. Like, no, you all need your own boards. Yes. <laughs> First of all, let me use those things in this house. Coming up on the show, we're going to have uh, Tom Payne from The Walking Dead and Prodigal Son. Yay. I want to watch that show. We'll watch it so that we can talk Wait. about it. Yeah, settle down, y'all. Oh, I, only, I only have eight minutes with him, and it'll be a phone call, so we don't get to see him. Wait, is he the son? Yes, he's the son. Oh, my God. He has the most beautiful eyes I've ever oh, seen. Oh, he on does have stunning eyes. It's a radio tour, so he'll be on my, my little radio show. How do you end up on a radio show? tour? Because, Katie, I'm on the radio again. I'm on Shine 99. Shine 99. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you could you can download the app and listen anytime, anywhere. Shine ninety nine. I have something to bring up. Uh, yes, Katie. So, uh, I watched Unorthodox on Netflix. Unorthodox. Yep, so it's a limited series. There's only four episodes. Um, okay. But it's about it's based on a book, and it's this lady who fled the this Hasidic Jewish culture. I think they're Hasidic Jewish. Um, very Orthodox Jewish. Um, she fled it and like she goes to Berlin and to find her like estranged mom and it I think Jonna would like it it's very I'm emotional out. it's very drama <laughs> there we go it's good yeah, yeah. very drama Jonna's, Jonna's like and then when people oh, think of shows that'll make you cry they automatically think of me they're like Jonna would love it. oh this is depressing Jonna should love this <laughs> I think we need a t-shirt made with Jonna's crying face yes not. No, you don't. oh yeah hey Kim yeah. Kardashian did it <laughs> yeah, but she's like mad famous for like no reason. Yeah, but you're like oh, there's a reason. You're you're, you're broke and kind of famous. Am I though? You're broke. I am very broke. That is all right. So there's some truth. there's some truth to that. <laughs> has anybody? I'm gonna assume that it's a no. But this is going way else? longer than I thought it was gonna go. If anybody right. needs to leave, it's okay. Look, Shelly's <laughs> Shelly just nodded her head like, yeah, this has gone too long. No. <laughs> I am bored. I, I am go checked through, out. <laughs> You're getting the wrap up signal. Yeah. Has anybody, anybody watched Dave on FX? Uh, Dave on FX. No, but who's Dave? No. Please. Oh my God. I need somebody to watch this show because it's so funny. I, I will tell you that I am like at this point and I still love it. This is the problem I run into when I start watching a show that has like lots of seasons. I feel stressed that I'm not watching anything other than than Schitt's Creek because how can I talk about anything when all I'm watching is and well hello we're on you know week six and I'm still just watching Schitt's Creek. <laughs> you should have finished that long ago, woman. Listen, Shelly, I'm still working. Okay, like twenty-two minute episodes. There's no excuse. I have okay. Wow. I, my TV. Yeah. No. My TV time, mm. Shelly, because I am still working for Make-A-Wish and we're working on this podcast and working on, you know, making dreams Are come you true. On your I was attitude? just going to say, well, I guess if you're going to be making dreams come true, maybe maybe that's okay. I have like <laughs> an hour of time a day that I can watch something. And so that's like two episodes of, of Schitt's Creek, maybe three. Yeah. But, and that's it. So that's all I'm doing. I, I, I uh, started watching Lock and Key today on, on my lunch. So I was eating ham and cottage cheese and watching Lock and Key. Because I was like, I got to watch something other than Schitt's Creek. That's me. I'm catching up on everything while also watching Buffy. I'd like to nominate to change the name of this episode. Too. Listen, Shelly. That was awesome. <laughs>